Is that what you think meditation is? Ha! Have I got news for you? Some people are saying to me, T, I can't meditate. I can't sit still. I've got a busy life. My life's on the go. And every time I sit still, it drives me nuts. Because all I do is think about all the stuff I need to do and blah, 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 blah. Listen, <laughs> I've got news for you. Meditation, of course, can be sitting still and being with your breath or being with your thoughts. That's called Vipassana meditation. But, good news, woo! That's not the only kind of meditation there is. Thank goodness. You can have moving meditations. I had the great experience of trying Tai Chi for the first time recently during a trip on my birthday. And that was super, super cool. I love it. Eastern kind of arts and martial arts and stuff because I always imagine myself like a warrior and Tai Chi even though it's slow it's very awesome and it's a way to just move and you're still and slow and it's so calming and peaceful and wonderful even though you're not just sitting in the same place with your racing thoughts so Tai Chi is one way that you can move and meditate and you can experience stillness and joy this way. Another way that you can experience moving meditation, because let's face it, you might not have a place that will teach you Tai Chi. How about this? We're all with our phones all the time. I am the same way. Even before I go to bed and right when I wake up, boom, where's my phone to check the time to do all my stuff. Here's a great way for you to experience a moving meditation that's easy, free, and super fun. All you've got to do is put your phone down somewhere safe and go outside and take a walk. Take a walk with no friend and no phone. And just notice everything. Notice the cars driving by. Notice the trees. Notice people's lawns. Notice a butterfly or a bird. Just notice things. Your thoughts will come and it's okay. Maybe you'll get ideas, maybe you'll slow down, but this is a way that you can move. You're just taking walks, you're just noticing what's going on. And this is wonderful because it really is a super reset. It's a recharge in a way that is not having you struggle with your thoughts and your breath and just making you anxious. These two ways can help you to get into a meditation practice that suits you if you can't sit still. And this is wonderful news because meditation has so many benefits. I'm sure you know or have read of some or have heard some, but I'll share a few with you. Meditation actually stretches out your time. Meditation gives you clarity and peace of mind. Meditation has health benefits that range from scientific research that affects our brain and also our breathing, all our, our pulmonary action, it's fantastic. And there's much, much more. You see, when you meditate, you kind of put credits in a bank. And this is what I mean by this. I've been meditating every day now for roughly about four years. And what I'm finding is that certain times when I would just react, I find that I've become the watcher of myself. So let's say, I'll give you a, a very everyday example, okay? I'm driving in my car, I live in Los Angeles, so hey, we get heavy traffic. And all of a sudden, someone cuts me off and there's barely enough space. Well, before meditation, I might've been like, what the? And woo, my attitude and everything goes out the window. But now, sometimes, I'll see that that happens and then it's like, I can watch the moment. I'm not in the moment. That is super powerful 
for when your boss gets on your nerves, for when you're stressed because of school, for when your family's just driving you nuts and there's no silence in the house. Meditation is key. And if you're feeling like you're struggling because you just have heard that you've got to oh, and sit still, you don't have to. Take a walk without your phone. Notice some beauty 